Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. So today I'm coming at you guys with a Goodwill haul. This was a total random gut stop where my gut was telling me to stop in at this location and I am so glad that I did. I found one of my wish list finds and a lot of them. So let's go ahead and see what I got. So the first item I picked up was $5 and it is this vintage 1950s-ish bread box. This is a Chromex metal box and I thought it was absolutely adorable. You can see that it has the ventilation holes there. It also has them on the other side. Now to be honest with you, this piece is in amazing condition. So I kind of wanted to show you what things look like before and after you clean them and invest a little time in sanitizing them. As you can see, this side here is super dingy. It's kind of crusty. It's looking a little rough. I do love the bread label. I think that is so clean line, very adorable. I love the black print, all that stuff. Now you can see it has some crud here, some really strong adhesive. It's got some, you know, buildup and fingerprints and stuff like that. But look at this side. This is what you uncover on these pieces. If you take a second to look at them, kind of check out the quality and look at how gorgeous that side is. It is so clean so polished there's minimal wear and damage on this side that it's just it's really awesome to kind of see the difference if you can look past that when you're searching for your treasures you'll be amazed by the things that you can find so the only damage that i actually saw in here was this little dent here but i think once it's cleaned up and it's not highlighted by all the dinge then it will be completely unnoticeable and it'll be a beautiful beautiful piece so what it is, is you open this lid here and it does open super easy. And it has this sandwich board here where you make your sandwiches and then it has your box here. It is a metal box. It is lined with this wood grain style adhesive liner, which is incredibly strong. The adhesive of the now would not stick like this. There's no peeling, there's no ripping, no tearing, no cracking anywhere on this cover which i thought was amazing so this is a chromex box it is made in the usa and it's pretty simple and self-explanatory i thought for five dollars that was an amazing find i'm actually going to finish polishing it and show you guys what here it looks like. is the after look at how beautiful that is oh my goodness i thought for five dollars that was amazing so I think these usually resell for about $30, depending on the style and the quality, and of course damage and wear, because it is a thin metal, as you can see. It, it is a thin metal, so it would be easy to ship. It's not too heavy, so that's a plus. So whoever buys it, it would be affordable to incorporate the shipping into the cost and just do free shipping. So that's really awesome. I love this piece. I thought $5 was fantastic. It is gorgeous. I can't wait to get this one. Now, listed. how adorable is this four piece set of Fitz and Floyd teacups? They are so precious. You can see the bottom here. And if I'm not mistaken, that's 1979 ish, not positive. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head here, but either way, it's from the 70s, it looks like. And they were 59 cents a piece. You can see that on the tag. Now they did have some pink plates with what looked like some type of bonsai style print. I did not get those just because I don't really know much about that set. It's kind of unique and you have to be really into something like that to get it even though they were pink. So I decided to go ahead and just get the teacups because I know that's a for sure sell. These are really pretty vintage pink kitchen lovers with that love pink dishes. This is definitely going to be a nice plus for the little set. Again, I do small cups in my shop, four for $20. All right, guys, so the next item is this Melior USA Ink hand-blown glass coffee press. Check that out. That is a gorgeous little piece. It is a travel size, and I do think these resell for about $20, $25. I'm not positive, but it is a gorgeous piece. It was only $2, and I love it. I remember selling a coffee press from the 80s with the cups and stuff in my shop and it was a beautiful clean line kind of piece and I feel like this is very reminiscent of that. It has a gorgeous handle and it actually has some pretty good weight to it for being such a tiny little thing. It just needs some cleaning up 
from the tape residue and you know just dust and stuff from sitting around wherever it was sitting at but I thought this was a beautiful piece for two bucks perfect for any coffee station and I do believe this is a travel size so you should be able to take it with you on your journeys and it's just amazing alrighty next is this wire basket now I can't tell I think this is an egg basket to collect eggs because it doesn't have a big enough base to be a canning basket so I'm not sure I do love the fact that it's footed it's very dusty it needs a lot of TLC but it would definitely go with some gorgeous decor that I have here in the house and I want to incorporate this and um, you don't even need to paint it it's gold but it's kind of like a brassy gold so it's not something that you have to paint because it's too polished does that make any sense it's already got some age to it the dust that's on it looks like it's been on it for a very long time because it's very cakey so I am excited to get that cleaned and sanitized and put somewhere into my decor it is so pretty and it was only Just two bucks case, if you didn't know it actually expands and opens you can see um, see if I can do this with one hand because of course I'm holding the camera you could see there it goes the handles go down and it expands so that is beautiful for two dollars check that out how cute that would actually make a cute lamp look at that like that that's cute alrighty so next we're gonna talk about some purses some basket style purses check this out is this not boho or what so it has this gorgeous handle and it's got like this threaded string here, but it's it reminds me of like polycord and it's what you use to latch the purse shut and you lift your lid just like that. And what I like about it is this here. I think that is gorgeous detailing to hold the top of that rim together. It's a gorgeous piece. Needs some cleaning, some dusting, but aside from that, I mean, I think this is beautiful. I got this one for $3, I believe, and bags like this usually resell for about $30 to $40. I'm gonna look into it a little bit more because this has great bones. It has nice little details on it. I like the color combination of just the natural, you know, color variation. I just think it's a really beautiful piece, very well put together. I'm gonna check into that because this is definitely gonna go into my Etsy shop. Here goes another look at another box purse. This is an Indonesian bag. This is Elliot Luca. It is a gorgeous piece. I saw this and I fell in love with it. I love the dark and light contrast. It does have the hook for the crossbody strap. Unfortunately, it didn't come with the strap. It was only $4. It has the detailing on the closure with the braided leather and then it has the button here. This is a beautiful piece, guys. I fell in love with this. I love finding unique style purses that you can hold on to and build a collection out of, but they also serve as decor almost. It's just a beautiful piece. I love that. For four bucks, you can't beat it. So this one is gonna go into the Etsy shop as well. All right, guys, so here goes another look at another basket purse. Check this out, it is so cute. I love the cross pattern here at the top. I love the fact that it's made out of corn husk. It's so clean lined, it's got the wood lid, wood base, needs a little cleaning. The leather strap enclosure. It doesn't have its closure though, which is unfortunate. So this one might not go in the shop. I'm probably just gonna keep this one as decor, maybe in my own little stash, but it is beautiful nonetheless. Check out the little hardware on the top. I love the little back straps. This is just a really cute piece. And I'm thinking the fact that it was missing its closure is why it was only 99 cents. But look at how gorgeous that is. Very well put together, nicely kept. I love stuff like this. And I'm pretty sure I could find a little uh, clasp closure and change it out and put it on here or just leave it as is because to be honest, I really don't care. So. There is that for my little basket or box purses. Alrighty guys, so this is where I need your brain. Somebody please tell me what style art is this? This was incredible. So I don't buy art often because I don't know if it'll sell. It's really hard to ship because you don't want things to break, but there's nothing breakable on this except of course for the wood, but it can make it safely to wherever it's going. These are actually fabric 
tiles. It's fabric made to look like tile and framed individually on here with the patterns. I thought this was beautiful. Any vintage boho art lover, I think, would fall in love with this piece because I'm not even that and I fell in love with it. I think it's gorgeous. It is huge. It's four feet, as you can tell, because my table is uh, eight by four. So it's four feet and it is gorgeous. I don't even know what to say about it. I found it for four dollars. I, I saw it and I walked up to it and I really wanted to get it. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know if there's a market. It doesn't have a name on it. I don't know any information about it. And everything that I try to look up, when I take pictures and stuff, it thinks that it's a door. It's really hard to figure out. So if any of you know, because a lot of you guys are so educated in this stuff, what this is, let us know. Share with us either the style or the time period or kind of artists that were known for things like this or companies that put out products like this it's beautiful so you could use it horizontally vertically it's an amazing piece so i picked that up because i figured if it, if worse comes to worse and i'm stuck with it i am a-okay with that it is so nice so there's that this was four bucks i thought that was a steal of a price there's no damage it's all fabric and there's no snags there's no rips there's no lifting, there's no fraying, it's just an awesome quality piece. So I picked that up because I know somebody out there will love it. All right guys, so now my absolute most favorite find, I'm talking about when I was in the store, I was looking at the coffee mugs, which was three aisles away from where all this was. And when I saw it, I literally bolted to the aisle in the most <laughs> trying to be inconspicuous kind of way, but totally obvious. <laughs> and I was just amazed at what I found. Now, I snagged it because I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to look at the price, but I don't want anybody to grab the other pieces because like, I was just so excited to find them. Anyway. I was pretty sure I was gonna be paying paying up for these. But the difference is when I buy something for myself, it's okay to pay up a little bit because I don't have to worry about all the work that goes into it for preparing it for someone else. There's a lot of time, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of research and materials and stuff that go into creating a post for something that you're gonna sell on Etsy for someone else. So that's why we price it the way we do because time actually goes into these things and it is a job, it's a business, you're paying someone for a service to find you quality pieces that are in amazing condition and worth putting into your home and giving a new life to. But this was something that was on my wish list because I just love this pattern and how perfect is it for the fall season. It's not exactly fall related, but just the colors are very fall reminiscent. So anyway, it is this amazing Corning Ware set. And look at all of the pieces, guys. There were actually three different price points for all of these. So these two were sold together for $1.99. They don't have the lids, but I don't care because I always see them kind of sprinkled throughout here and there in different stores. So I'm sure I could find them eventually. Plus I don't plan on cooking in them. I plan on mainly using them for serving, so it probably doesn't even matter. Next, there were a six piece set of the coffee mugs and the saucers for $3, which was amazing. And then finally, there was a 20 piece set for $10. That is just awesome, guys. So I got, how many was that? 28 pieces for $15. And I could not be more happy about that because that makes each piece roughly 50 cents a piece. That is incredible. I was excited because I would pay that for resale and instead I paid it for something for myself, which made me very happy to get something that I've been wanting for a while. I actually found the salt and pepper shakers recently in a haul and I showed them to you in a haul, but I was like, well, I'm just gonna, I might put them up in the shop 
because I was really thinking that I would not find any of these dishes anytime soon. So I am really excited about this. I am so happy that I found it. Feel free to gush over your own Corningware sets. I actually have the Butterfly Gold in my cabinet right now. I've posted that to Instagram. I've shared it with you guys in a video inside my kitchen cabinet. And I'm just in love. I'm so happy. So, so happy. So that is pretty much it for this haul, guys. We can go ahead and end it out right here with these gorgeous little pieces. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite find has been recently in your thrift adventures. If you have a friend that doesn't thrift but maybe is a little interested in going and seeing what they can find, go ahead and share this video with them so they could see the different things that everybody's out there finding and what you could actually get on a budget either for your own personal use or even for your small business. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I have new videos out. You can follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. Also, my Etsy shop is Bates House, one word. And for now, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.